Uh, good day viewers. Uh, welcome to another biology lesson. Uh, this is your presenter, Mr. Mlenga. So right here with me, I want us to go through um, this question that came in biology paper 2. The question reads, figure 2.1 shows an experiment to investigate the movement of carrot solution in a plant. So this is an experiment that was conducted to show the movement of carrot solution in a plant. So we've got the first beaker, the second beaker. So in the first beaker, we have the carrot solution right here. Then we've got the seed ring that is within this first beaker. Then on top there is oil. Then in the second beaker, we also have the same seed ring that is put inside. Okay, but the level of water has dropped. Okay, so let us look at the questions now. Question A1. Name the process by which water in the solution was absorbed by the plant. Okay, so here, the name of the process which absorbs water in a plant is called the osmosis. So here, we are going to write osmosis. Okay, so the absorption of water in a plant is done by the root air cell, okay, which absorbs water from, from the soil through the process called osmosis. Now we come to question two. Name the process by which carrot solute in the solution was absorbed by the plant. So we are talking of the carrot solute. So these carrot solutes contain particles and if they contain particles, they are going to be moved by the process called the diffusion, okay? So here, we are going to write diffusion, okay? So, when it comes to active transport, it mainly uh, transports mineral salts, okay? That is for active transport. So I have answered the, this question. Let us now move on to question e. B. Why was oil put on top of the carrot solution? So as you can see, the oil was put in the on top of the carrot solution. So why was it put there? So the reason why the oil was put on top of the carrot solution was just to prevent water from evaporating. Okay? So we are going to write to prevent water from evaporating. So that is the reason why oil was put on top of the carrot D solution so we have answered our first question let us now come on to this question okay so this is the question figure 2.2 .2 shows the cross section of the stem obtained from figure 2.1 so this um this is figure 2.2 .2, and this figure 2.2 .2 was obtained from uh figure 2.1 which is the, the question we are just from answering we've got an experiment on top there we have got a seed ring so this is a dicot stem which was obtained from that experiment okay let us now look at the questions so this is a uh, question one using the letter x label the part of the figure which was stained by the dye okay so from this figure the part that is going to be stained by the dye it will be this part so we can label it as x okay or if you want you can label this or this or this or this is just one part okay don't label this part down here all right so we have answered the question one using the diagram we have identified the part x that is going to be stained by the die question two identify the part you have labeled x on the figure 2.2 .2, okay so on this this figure they want us to identify this part that you have labeled what x what is the name of this part so the name of this part is the xylem vessel this is the name of the part it's a xylem vessel okay okay so we have said the part labeled x this is the xylem tissue okay now we come to roman numero three Name two substances transported by part X and give one function for each. 
So two substances that are going to be transported by X, which is the xylem, are water and mineral salts. So here we can just write water. So the function of water, uh, water has got a lot of functions, okay? So one of the functions it is used to transport dissolved minerals in a plant, okay? So here we just say to transport, to transport dissolved minerals in a plant. So there are many uses of water. Okay, you can also say water is used as a reactant during photosynthesis. Then we name another substance apart from water. We say mineral salts. Okay, so the, uh, the mineral salts are also transported by the xylem tissue. So what is the function of the mineral salts? So the mineral salts, uh, they are used in the production of food substances. So we just say used used in the production used in the production of food substances used in the production of food substances in plants okay in plants so these were the answers to to these questions you can also say another function of the mineral sorts uh, Mineral salts are used for, for, for plant health and for building what, the tissues. So thank you so much everyone for having time to view this content. Bye bye.